Hey, third graders, it's Mrs. Linderman. We're going to revisit the Athabascans that we read yesterday, and I want to talk a little bit about main idea. Now, we've learned that main idea is what a story or a text is mostly about. So we could look at the entire story of the Athabascans, right, and we could break it down into what it's mainly or mostly about, and we could give proof. We can also look at something smaller, like a paragraph or a section of a story. And today we're gonna to look at the section that was about getting around. So we know that getting around, if we were to reread this, they talked all about how the people right, would get around in this particular area. So let's look a little bit about the old ways of how they were to get around, okay? And I put that right in the middle. That's my main idea. Right, travel was long and difficult in the old ways. If we were to reread that story, we would learn that. But what's the proof? Right, what, are, what are some things that made it difficult? Well, they told us that they walked with, using snowshoes. That's a tricky thing to do if you've ever done that. They had to get around on snowshoes and all that snow. They also had to be pulled by dog sleds. Okay? They walked around on foot. And they also traveled by canoe. I found all of this information about the old ways right here in this section on getting around. Okay, so thinking about just this one page, I can talk about what it's mostly about. Talked about travel was long and difficult. And I got to that uh, main idea and I was able to pull out these details to prove it. Okay. I could also, on the flip side, say, okay, well, what's the main idea using the new ways? What could I say? How could I kind of compare and contrast the old ways from the new ways? So in the back, right, if I were to reread the story, it talks about travel was easier in the 1920s with those bush planes. That's something that happened with the new ways. Okay, so remember, it showed us a picture of what that bush plane looks like. And it tells us right here that it was difficult, but it changed in the 1920s when the bush planes came flying in. Well, why did that make travel easier? What happened? Look at the different things. Those bush planes brought supplies, like batteries for flashlights and things, oil. They brought pots and pans. They even brought medicine for people. They also brought doctors and teachers to do jobs there. They brought regular people to visit their family and their friends and their relatives, right? And then it was easier using those bush planes because some of them had wheels, so they could land just in the flat grass in the fields. Some of them had skis on the bottom, so they could actually land in the snow. Others had pontoons on the bottom. That means they could land in the water. So when they created the bush planes and they started coming to Alaska in the 1920s, that made things a little bit easier for travel. They were able to get around a little bit better. All right. So thinking about main idea, what a text is mostly about doesn't just have to be the entire book or the entire story. We could look at one section of a nonfiction text. We could look at hard winters and decide what is this mostly about and what's the proof? Okay, or maybe, how did the Athabascans stay warm, right? It's all about keeping warm, but what's my proof, right? We're going to start a new story tomorrow. It's not in the text collection. It's a chapter book. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Here's a preview. It's called The Year of Miss Agnes. I want you to take a look at that. I want you to form some predictions in your mind about what you think this story might be about. Look at the pictures. Look at the details. What do you think this story might be about?